Are we are yeah. we here? Let's refresh it. Let's refresh that page. I think it's wanting us to do it this way. Are we there now? Oh yes. Yeah, we we're on this way, yeah. Hello, yeah. everybody. Oh, we've had to turn the screen round. Yeah. yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. We can see it all right, yeah. won't we? Oh, fine. Let me yeah. just turn this volume down. Oh, hi, Ray. Ray's with us. Hi. Thank you for joining us. We're just preparing. Yeah, we're just getting the screen right so we can see you on our oh. screen as well. So yeah. we can see what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, is that that stand up? That way. I think we're... We're looking pretty good. Yeah. Oh, there's me. <laughs> oh, hi, that's Lucy. <laughs> She's yeah, in the background. It won't let us turn it round, unfortunately. So. Yeah, so we're going to have to be from, from this angle. Yes. Yeah. So we've got uh, Josie with oh. us. We've got Jane. We've got Angie. We know Angie's been waiting for this one. We have, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got Deb. Claire, good morning. Karen, good morning. Hi. Hi. Do jazz hands. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, um, We've got some more people with us. Everyone's joining us. We are. Exciting. It's exciting. We haven't done one of these for a while. No, we've not. Getting back into it. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Right, let's bring these over so you can see. Yeah. See what we're Because we've had to adjust our, our camera. Our camera. So we hope you can all see everything all right. Comment in the, uh, in the comments. In the comments. <laughs> if you can see what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You might have to. Uh, Am I? You might have to turn slightly when you're doing. <laughs> when you're bit. doing stuff. Hang on, if I move this way a little, just a little bit, you can still see me there. Should I push all that? I'll come this way a bit. There we go. You can see that. We're not used to it. No, at this angle. it's good at this angle. We're trying to get a little bit more in shot. We want to get Chloe as well. So you'll be working here. Yes. <laughs> I'll have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try my best keeping shot. Um, Angie said on TV you're very narrow but in phone full screen. That's good. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. I've got my phone just in front of me here yeah. so you can see you're in full screen here. Yeah. Um, but it's making us turn the phone oh, this yeah. way. Ray says narrow view but can still see. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah we let... usually have it the other way but it won't let it us turn. It won't today. let us turn it sideways. Yeah. So. So, are you ready? Yes, I am you ready? ready. Have, you, have you got things? We'll just show you the decorations and things while people... Uh, are joining. Yeah. So um, this is an example of what you'll be making. This is the original one I made. It's a little yeah. bit bigger than the one that I'm doing today. So you can hang them as three. Yeah. Um, or four or however many you want. You could make them. You could hang them this way and have them as bunting. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Uh, which would be quite nice. Yeah, have them hanging. Would. This yeah. is the size that we're making today. Yeah. Nice. And then there's a couple I've made. A couple, I've not joined these ones together because they make nice little individual ornaments they do, to pretty. hang on the tree. To hang yeah. on the tree. Mm. Yeah. So we're just going to be doing the. We're just the doing one. We're doing today. this big, this size. But you can make these any size you want once we show you how to make the template. Yes, it's a nice, easy project. It is isn't it? A nice, quick one. So, do you want to? Run, shall we run through what they need? Make sure they've got what they need. Yes. Do you want to start? So you definitely need. You need. But the one we're doing today, we've just said two six inch squares of fabric yeah. interfaced. Yeah. If yours aren't interfaced, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, it, interfacing just makes it a little bit easier to sew. Yeah. But you can easily do it without interfacing as well. This one's not interfaced. These ones, like these are. These are a little bit firmer. Yeah. These are a little bit softer. So it depends how you're going to use it. Um, you're going to need your piece of paper. You need a piece of paper for paper, making a template. Piece of paper, yeah. You'll need a pencil. A pencil, yeah. Do you want a tape measure or a ruler? Just something to measure with. Yeah. And some hand sewing needles. So, as well. Yeah, because you and need. We are going to do a little bit of hand sewing. A button for the centre. Button. Not essential that you put on right now. No, you can always do that absolutely. later. Absolutely. And can we just say, um, we'd like to it, a bit of. We, last time we did one of these, a bit of a competition. <laughs> yes. If you can post, who can post it first? Yeah. On. Our socials. Our socials before we do our yeah, and then we'll one. announce that yeah. in the material girls that we do yes. in a while that we yeah. do at twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock, yes, yeah, straight yeah. after this video. Who, yeah. who, who posts theirs first? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see who wins. Let's see who gets in there because yeah. this, this is pretty easy. Yeah, nice so. easy one. 
And do you know what I've just realised? I think I've left the pen on the other side. Right, I can get out. Maybe <laughs> yeah. easier with you. I've just realised when you said pen, it's on the other side. There you go. Thank you very much. So, pencil, pen, ruler, or yeah. tape measure. Or James put um, bet Pauline will be first. <laughs> was Pauline was first last time, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a challenge. Challenge accepted. Absolutely. I'll just show you up close the decoration. So this that's is it. what we're going to be making. This way a bit. That way a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's there you go. trying to get the angle, isn't it? That's right. There you go. So that's what we're going to be making. It's so beautiful. Little fold, little folded. Yeah. This one's got a button on the back, as well. Yeah. So pretty. I love them. Just a bit of a time lag on that oh. one. So I'm watching that one, you're watching that um, one. Yeah. <laughs> so on our screens, we've just got a few seconds delay. Yeah. So if we, we'll just hold it still for a minute <laughs> yeah. so that we can Let's make sure we're in the right position. Okay. Uh, Dev's put, well, there's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. She's oh, no, don't say, on, that, don't say that, Dev. Don't say that, Dev. faith in you. Yeah, of course we have. This is easier than you think. Yes. Oh, I'm dead excited. So, shall, right. we get shall we get started? Yeah. So, let's just move these out of the way. So, the first thing you need is your paper, your pen, paper and your ruler. And your pen. We're using a tape so, today. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, we're folding it in half. Yeah, has everybody got that ready? Just give them a yeah. second to make sure they've all got that in front of them. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Get your piece of paper and your pen and your pencil ready and your ruler or tape measure, whichever you decide to use. Okay. Any comments? That's only one. No. Not right, one. no comments means put yeah. means you're ready. Means yeah. you're ready. <laughs> means you're ready. Okay, so you can explain so that. I told you what to do before. Folding in half, yeah. And then we're folding it again. So we've got quarters. So we're making your circle template. You yes. can make this any size you want. Today just stick with this one. Yeah. Because that's the fabric you've got ready. Yeah. So Okay, so we're folding our paper into quarters now and starting from the corner, the point, and taking your ruler or your tape measure, we're going to measure two inches up, two and a half inches. Two and a half, two inches. And a half inches up. So I'm just going to turn mine around. So whatever measurement you're making now, this is, if you know anything about circles, this is the radius you're making. So whatever uh, from the centre out, so whatever measurement you do here your circle's going to come out double that size so it'll yeah. be seven inches across if this one will be uh, five inches across that you're doing today bit of maths there yeah so put as many dots as you can yeah the more dots you put just keep moving your ruler around or your tape measure around until you get to the other side the more dots you do the smoother your curve will be yeah the more accurate the more accurate your circle will be so you can make a circle template any size you want I didn't know you could make a circle like this. Mm. I just just wanted to think. Yeah, that, you, know, you don't need a, necessarily need a compass or a circle cutter or um, just make yourself a template like this. I'm putting as many as I can. Yeah, because you can get a smoother curve. So we're going like that. Yeah, that one's sticking that out one's there. Yeah, what happened there? I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I measured two and a half inch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's two and a half. Two and a half inches. Maybe that one's not up to. Let's go for there. We go. So then, just join them there up with your pen. Just join them yeah. up with your pen. Try Never thought you'd be doing dot to dot today. No, no, I know. And then cut that. Up. There we go. So then cut, cut that out. out. Oh, Joe says I'll be making this later. Do I get anything for being last? <laughs> <laughs> You never know, Jules. Yeah. You never know. You never know. To all those watching on Catch Up later. Yeah. Uh, sorry you weren't first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but enjoy. There we go. So there we go. So you open that out and you should have a perfect circle. Oh, Pauline said I'm still interfacing my fabric. Okay. We'll hang on yeah, for a we'll minute. Yeah, just wait for a minute. Yeah. Shall we show the fabrics that we're using while we're waiting? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just just said, is it... Uh, an A4 piece of paper. As long as you can fit a two and a half inch circle on it. Yeah. We've used an A5 piece there. Oh, have we? I think. Is that A5? I thought it was an A4 piece. Was it? A4. It is A4, A4. yeah. Yeah, just, just an A4 You can piece. use whatever piece you need that you're, gonna, you're going to fit two and a half inches yeah. on. 
So we'll just show you some of the fabrics, yeah, that we've been using. So in this previous one that yeah. Heather's made, go. this is the Freddie and Friends Fat Quarter Bundle. So it's got it's the really doggies cute. on. Yeah. Looks really nice, mate. It does look quite nice it? in that. So when you have some of these character fabrics and you're not quite sure yeah. what to do with them. These are perfect. Yeah. You might lose it a little bit on the front, but you do see... See it on the back, yeah, and you can see them peeking through, yeah, on the front. And if you didn't know what to do with fat quarter bundle, then these are perfect because yeah. you can get loads out of fat quarter. If you've ever made any of those, I've made a stuffed one of those stuffed puffy Christmas yeah. trees in oh, this as well. Oh yeah, 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 love that bundle. So I think it's dead I'd make one with cats on because yeah. I'm a cat person. I'm a cat person. There, look at that. There Isn't he is cute? He's at the dining table. So we've used that one for. That. And we've oh. used the gold star buttons. Yes, oh, they're and the so gold star nice. buttons on those. Yeah. We're out of stock of silver at the minute, but we have got the gold ones. Um, Angela said, very narrow view. Why isn't it landscape? Um, I'm already lost. I thought we needed squares, not circles. No, you may, you do need squares of fabric. You need two squares of fabric. But we're making a circle template. All will become apparent. <laughs> yes. Yeah, make your circle <laughs> template first. Yeah. And it, we're also the other way today because um, it wouldn't let us do. Fancy. It wouldn't let us. It wouldn't let us film the other no, way around. No. So we do apologise for that. Yeah, we weren't expecting that. No, because YouTube <laughs> normally lets you f uh, film. Yeah. Landscape, but for some reason it just wouldn't. It just let wouldn't us today. Yeah. So we'll we'll pause and we'll take yeah. you know time if you are lost and you need to catch up. Catch up. We'll just if you need for, yeah. if you need us to. Rem repeat anything for yeah, you please let us please know. ask just type in the comments and we'll just show you again yeah so i'll just show you the bundle so this is a new bundle this is a william morris bundle this is called yule time so this is what we're using today but how beautiful are them fabrics am i in shots yes yeah <laughs> yes you are how beautiful them fabrics the source so i really like these i've just done another project in this yeah so if you've ordered the next subscription box I've made the project, I've made a, a sample in this yeah. as well, so you'll get to see it made that way as well. It's exciting. So you need that. Yeah, <laughs> you do need that. You need Everyone that one in your life. life. It is beautiful. Yeah. It is a really beautiful fabric, that one. Um, Pauline's asked, what radius, I think it says radius, I've got a heart button over, yeah. <laughs> over that word. There we go. What radius circle, please? Uh, the radius for the circle we've just done, the radius is two and a half inches. This says, don't look at these numbers on here. Uh, the radius is two and a half that we've just done today. So from the centre out is your radius, two and a half. So when you open your circle out, the diameter will be five inches. So radius, totally across diameter, around the edge is your circumference. Yeah. Um, Karen's asked, what are the measurements you've used for the slightly bigger decoration? That's this one. That's three and a half. I'll give you all the different measurements for these different ones that I've made. Yeah. So are we in shot here? Uh, I think yeah. so, yeah. Just move. Which way do I need to go? <laughs> that, that way. way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> yeah. Right. So for this bigger one, so this makes this big size. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah, that makes this big size. So this one is three and a half inch radius. So when it's folded up, it's three and a half. When you open it out, it'll be seven inch. Yeah. So that's for the big one. And then this next one down is the same as you're doing today. Yeah. So this one's two and a half inch. And then this bottom one is the smallest is the, one. Is two. Two. This one is two inch, which will make a four inch circle. So three and a half, which will come out as seven, two and a half, which will come out as five, and two inch, which will come out as four on the bigger one. And then on these sizes, the one you're doing today is the two and a half the two and a half one i'll give you yeah. that's more of a perfect circle than yours yeah <laughs> uh, so this is two and a half that will come out as five yeah and then this one is two i think that one's two which will come out as four mm -hmm. and then i think this one is one and a half which will come out as three Okay. One. So you can make them any size you want. So yeah. you can go bigger, much bigger, and have a nice big hanging decoration on your yeah. wall. Yeah. You might just need to use a bigger piece of paper. Yeah. That's all. You can always use, you know, cheap wrapping paper. Yeah. It's good absolutely. for making big templates yeah. on. I've Definitely. got a whole pile of cheap wrapping paper. Yeah. 
Um, Ray's put, I bought the blue one, I think one out of the bundle now. Mm -hmm. um, I bought the blue one, it's called Willy, Willow, Willow Burr, Burr, Burr. Willow Burr. Bow. Bow, is it? Right, say it. Yeah. I'm going to make my dog a coat out of it. She's oh, called Willow. Oh, that'd be so oh, that's nice. Lovely. I can't wait to see that. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited for that. Yeah. yeah. I've got to send a picture of that. Okay. So, has everyone caught up? Have we all drawn our circles? Yeah. Are you ready to move on? Yes. Uh, Angela says, if we have a six inch square, do we need the 2.5 inch circle? Yes, really. You could go up to 2.3, two and three quarters, really. It's got to fit. As long as it fits on your square. So, that's what we're doing today. So the six inch square fits your two and a half inch yeah, square. On, you don't need to use a square as long as your piece of fabric uh, is big enough to fit it on because then you're going to, it, it could be rectangle if you've got an oddment. As long as your square, your circle fits on. As long as your circle fits on. Your square. <laughs> onto your piece of fabric. Yeah. You need two pieces of fabric yeah. uh, for both sides. As long as it fits on, you'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So if you're five inches across your circle, seven inch. If you were seven inches across, as long as your fabric is just marginally bigger than that, yeah, you'll be you'll be fine. Brilliant. Okay, so thanks, Heather. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So you tell us when you're ready. Yes. And we'll move on. Yes. We don't want to we rush. Don't want to rush anybody. Yeah. Want to get your lovely little decorations yeah. done. I really, I've done quite a few of these. I really like these. Yeah, they're quite really simple. Nice. It's a nice project. Once you've stitched yeah. the main circle, it's nice to sit and do. You could sit and yeah. do it in front of the telly. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. It gives a bit of hand yeah. stitching. Mm. Nice. Oh, Pauline's put a thumbs up. She's good to go. Good to go. Oh, Jane's ready. Catherine's ready. Brilliant. Right, so we can move ready. on. Yeah. Okay. So, you want to put your circles. Uh, your squares, your squares. <laughs> Circles and squares. squares. Right sides together. <laughs> right, okay. There we okay, go. Okay, so you're going to draw, oh. just draw round your circle onto the back of one of these. Not yeah, once you've drawn it, then you can yeah. pin them together. I'm using my circle? Yeah, use your circle. Just use whatever. Yeah, draw yeah. around that. Okay. If you want to pin through the template so it doesn't move, that might be easier. So it doesn't shift. You only need to do it on one way. Yeah. Turning it, that's mm. good. Don't try and go all the way around in one, one no. move. No, if you find it shifting, <laughs> just pin it to your fabric. Yeah. There we go. And you only need to trace it on one piece. There we go. And then when you've traced it, mark a turning gap. Oh, on, on there, mark anywhere. it mark, yeah, anywhere, it's a circle, mark it anywhere. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe a couple of inches. So, in. so I go there, like that? Yeah, maybe here, yeah, and whatever that is. There. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so wait till everybody catches yeah. up. Everyone draw your circles on your squares. Just draw it on one, you don't need it on two, just draw it on the one. Yeah, and then mark. You turn turning gap. gap. Yeah. And then you pin, put a couple of pins in so it doesn't shift. Because you think you're going to cut it out, but you're not. Oh, oh wow. Mm. <clears throat> I like these, um, these yellow pins. Yeah, Maybe um, mm. glass head pins. Yeah. yeah, they're Don't quite strong, them. sturdy yeah. pins. If your bag make, especially yeah. these are good. Or if you've got thick layers. Yeah. Because um, they're them. quite sturdy. We've got a lot of pins on our yeah. <laughs> on our wrist pinny. <laughs> so again give us thumbs up when you're yes, ready, when ready to, go. to go. Yeah, just let us know. Can't yeah. keep it at your pace. Yeah. So we just seem to sort of sometimes yeah. whiz through things, don't we? So Because we can't see where you're up to. No. <laughs> so well yeah. It's oh. nice to have a bit of crafting time with people. It is, isn't it? Definitely. Karen's put a thumbs up. So Karen's ready. Let's wait to see what this. Oh, Ray's put a thumbs up. Hey, it's brilliant. This it thumbs is. Up, yeah. isn't it? It's easier than <laughs> writing a comment. Yeah. Um, Pauline's put, I've managed to iron the wrong side of my interfacing on one piece. Luckily, I salvaged it and the iron. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah, definitely. 
Oh, Angie's ready, Deb's ready, Jane's ready. If you ever worry about doing that in the future, just put a piece of fabric over the oh, top of what yeah. you're ironing. Yeah. So you'll, if nothing else, you'll just glue the fabric to the, the, the interface into the piece yeah. of fabric and press through that. Yeah. And then at least you won't glue it to your iron. Got a lot of tips you have. You're very yeah. good at this, yeah. It's my forte. <laughs> uh, Jane says, can't find the thumbs up, but I think she's ready. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Put a love that. Anything, yeah, anything, anything to say you're ready to say you're ready if you don't yeah. want to type it out. Oh, Polly's got good tip. Yeah, Claire's ready. I think most of us are. Are ready. we ready to go? Yeah. So now we're not going to just directly cut that out. It's a lot easier to sew it like this. Right. Okay. Because you would think you would normally cut, cut it, it out. out. Yeah. This is easier and it won't get sucked down into your sewing machine. Yeah. So we're just going to sew this now from one of your marks, yeah. your turning gap. You can follow your line. Yeah, all the way around. Yeah. Uh, if you have any difficulty sewing curves, mm -hmm. turn your stitch length down, maybe to maximum two mil. Right. Okay. Uh, I would do anywhere between one and a half and two. It's a lot easier to get around a curve with a smaller stitch. Didn't if you that. normally sew at three mil, like yeah. you do, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Turn yeah. it down. Um, yeah. You'll you'll have to turn, lift your foot and turn less if you've got a smaller stitch. Okay. okay, that's a good, another good tip there. I need to write these down. Write these down. Okay, so I'm just going to start. So let me take mine's turn down. Turn mine down. Put mine on 1.8. I can get 1.8. <laughs> All right, so line the line. Yeah. So pull into the shelf a bit yeah. there. Can you see a bit better there? Yeah. So line your line up with the center of your foot. So this way, you're not trying to sew a seam allowance. As yeah. long as you've got a bit of fabric around this circle, enough for a seam allowance, you're all right. Yeah. So you're not actually having to sew a seam allowance. You're just sewing on a line, <laughs> which makes life easy. Oh, absolutely. I'm all about that. So don't, uh, remember to backstitch. That was yeah. Amanda in the yeah. end saying, don't say that. <laughs> remember. Remember, not don't forget. Remember, remember to backstitch. Remember to not forget. Because that's your, that's your stress point. Right. Where you're going to turn it through. Yeah. And then just... Follow your line. Take your time because it's a circle. Yeah. Don't whiz Don't through rush. it. Yeah. If you find when your foot starts moving off that curve, if it's moving away, if you find it's starting to go forward mm. <clears throat> and overhang, just stop with your needle down, lift your foot, and just turn it till it lines up. If you have to do that every three or four stitches, do that. Yeah. You'll get a much neater curve. Yeah. With a small stitch, and just keep doing that. If you've got certain machines, like I think on my machine, I can get away with it's not having quite, to do yeah. that. If you pull here, yeah. if you pull pressure there, I'm sort of pushing to the outside like that. I'm holding it here and pushing it, pulling it away pulling it here. Away. Yeah. And that sort of keeps it going oh. in the right direction. But go slow. Yeah. You don't want to whiz around a curve. No, so take your just, time. Are we going off track there? Just a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, I'm moving away from the centre there. Yeah. It's so important to take your time with it. It is definitely a curve. To get a neat, nice neat curve, it will look so much better when it's finished with a small stitch as Elaine well. Elaine said, are we stitching the two fabrics? Yes. You're stitching them, them together. Right sides together. You've drawn your circle, left a turning gap, and now we're stitching them together. Together. There's your, there's your two. Yeah. Really nice fabrics as well. Though. They are. <laughs> And you, you, when you when you iron it flat, when you open it out, it will with the small stitch as well. Yeah. It will sit Sitch much much, much flatter. Yeah. Hmm, I'm gonna do that now. Turn my stitch down. There's something like certain exceptions where you wouldn't turn your seat, your stitch length down. Like if you're using faux leather yeah. or vinyl, because yeah. if you turn it down too small, it can perforate. Yeah. Um. Shirt collars as well. Oh no, Janet says watching. Uh, watching my sick bed still got terrible cough. Oh dear. Oh, Janet. I hope you're feeling Actually, better yeah. soon. Oh. If you ever make shirt collars, when you're getting down towards the points, yeah. Stop. When you've got to, turn yeah. your turn your stitch length really small. Yeah. You get a much sharper point. Mm. Anything with a point, really. Just go. If you want to. Or a curve, yeah. go smaller. See, I'm walking off the line there. 
because I'm sitting at an angle, I'm leaning yeah, all over. Yeah. yeah, it's better when you're yeah, sat I'm not, I'm not yeah, sat in front of the machine, it. I'm like leaning <laughs> over to yeah, the side. Yeah, different angle, don't you? Yeah. Oh, Janice said, you ladies make me feel better. Oh, I'm glad we can. I am. <laughs> you can catch up on this, don't worry. Yeah. Janet. You can, you'll be making your own decoration when you're better. Do you sew with your shoes on or off? Yeah, this we is have something this we have it before. before. Now I sew with my shoes on. But I, you, I took mine off. I sew with my shoes Amanda, on. And so does Amanda. She takes her shoes yeah, off. Yeah, and the lady at the stocking class yesterday. Yeah. She took hers off as well. See, I just can't. You feel I can? I've got more control. I don't know. It's weird to sew slow that. like this because yeah. it's set on full. Yeah. Full pelt. near enough to sew slow. I think you need to take your shoes off. Oh no! Oh, Ray says off. Yeah. Oh, Angela says, I think I'm just going to watch as my circle looks more like an oval with a <laughs> dimple at the top. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you, maybe you stitch like... length. Just take it really slow because as you can see that I'm not just sewing slow for you to yeah. watch. I'm sewing slow because it's a circle. Yeah. And it is. Um, take your time. If you have to do it every two or three stitches, yeah. uh, turn your foot slightly every couple of stitches, then, then do that yeah. if it gets you a need to circle. Don't feel you have to rush. Maybe to get your circle, could you get a compass? You, you could know, use a compass. And, and, and yeah. Draw your circle. You could. You could draw around. If you could draw around, if you're happy, draw around a mug. Draw yeah. around a side plate. Yeah. Um, to get that perfect yeah. shape. For us all yeah. to get the same size today. Which, yeah. Plus, this is good to know. Yeah. How to make it. If you yeah. haven't got the size that you want. Yeah. Because everybody's got a side plate. Yeah. Everybody's absolutely. got a saucer or a mug. Yeah. But they're a set size. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to make it two and three quarters or three and an eighth or for whatever reason, yeah. for whatever you're making, but yeah. you can do it this way. Um, and she says, bare feet, but I don't use foot pedal. No, you use the oh, bottom. But still bare feet? Yeah. Um, and Pauline says, uh, slippers are my preference. Yeah. Yeah, the shoe. I like yeah. That. I always put them at home. I always put them back on before I get yeah. up in case you've dropped any pins on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes yeah. you do, don't you? Yeah. Uh, we've got Claire on, Deb, shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're um, you're in the minority, I think. Janet, barefoot yeah. always. Yeah. Jane, barefoot. Um, Elaine, oh, she says, I'm in agony, can't join in, and had injection in my thumbs yesterday. Oh, oh so sorry. You, yeah. yeah. Um, Josie says, shoes on. Mm. <laughs> um, high heels. Yeah, we've got high <laughs> heels as well. Be Not just a flat shoe. <laughs> Um, Jane says slippers usually for me at this time of year are barefoot if I'm wearing flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't yeah. think I could do flip flops. Flops. Yeah. Uh, Elaine says I'm caught up. Uh, That's good. Catherine rather have slippers on. Uh, Angie says uh, the game I hardly wear shoes. Is that uh, this love heart keeps covering my Yes. That would be hardly wear shoes. Garden barefoot too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm alright. Yeah. Garden barefoot. Yeah. Tough and cheeky too. Yeah. Right, so when you get to the, the other mark for your turning gap, don't forget to backstitch. Yeah. Because this is obviously um, a stress point when you're turning it through. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got some more. Elaine says slippers or thick thermal socks. Elaine says bare feet. Yeah, I think yeah. everyone does it barefoot. Yeah, I think most, <laughs> mostly people do. What's wrong with you all? <laughs> Need shoes on. <laughs> now, yeah. if you had pinking shears, if you've got pinking shears, you're going to cut this out. If you've got pinking shears, use them. Yeah. If you've not, just use your regular scissors, and then you're obviously you're going to cut it out where the where the turning gap is. Mm -hmm. Leave this wider. If you've got okay. enough room to leave it wide, that just makes it easy turning through. Yeah. Um, when you're turning those edges back in, if you've got a wider bit here, probably in hindsight it might have been better to put the turning gap oh, there, and then you've sorry. got a wide. No, I should have said that. I never thought that. Uh, but if you've got a, off, you yeah. should be right with you the be off, if you've got yeah. this size fabric. Yeah. So, so leave that wider and then cut it right with you can do a quarter maybe less than a quarter maybe quarter, less than a quarter yeah. of an inch if you've got pinking shears you've got them handy use those so if I leave that big one bit wider bit wider so that we can turn and then come in yeah we're not using pinking shears today we're just on we're just going to use you're going to snip do a few snips around the circle Oh, when right. It's your pinking shears, yes. Yeah, so it saves you, yeah. If you've got pinking snip. shears, because they make the little V's, yeah. Um, then you don't have to do that if you 
cut just a, a millimetre or two away from your line. Clever. Squeaky, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> They need oiling, I think. <laughs> no. Need loosening up a bit. They're quite stiff, those ones. They are, aren't they? Mm. With, a, with a squeak. Right, like that. Okay. There we go. So I've cut it out and I've left a bigger bit here. That's a really good mm. tip, that. Should I, can I take my pin? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good tip for any turn if you're, if you're making a bag lining or anything. Leave that bit wider because yeah. there's a bit more to tuck in. Yeah. And then turn it through. Uh, do some snips all the way snips around, round, sorry. Snip round scissors. if you haven't got pinky shears. Yeah. Don't cut your stitches. <laughs> no, I know. Just all the way around. Yeah, these are great little scissors for oh, that. Oh, these are brilliant. They've got sharp points. I need a pair of these. Yeah, yeah anywhere there's a curve on something that you're doing, snip yeah. the curves and they will turn and lie flatter. What colour theme are you having on your Christmas tree this year? I know, is anyone going traditional? Are you going blues, pinks? <clears throat> are you having a Christmas tree? Yeah. Are you just going to make one to hang up on your wall? Yeah. Would like to know. Yeah, let us know. We always need inspiration. <laughs> yeah, when you've done, when you've finished cutting around while we're waiting for folk to catch up. So are we cutting... No, uh, no, no, I wouldn't on no, there, no. Not that bit, so no. I just snipped all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is a good idea? If you've got, um, let me think, something that you're not going to cut through, you could maybe score that line with a little bit. All right, yeah. You know, if uh, you've got um, something like a knitting needle or something yeah. with a blunt tip. Yeah. I mean, could I do it with it. And go along, can you see there? Oh, we get in shot. Come in shot and score along that line. That line a bit. Right. Just okay. press, press down, but don't obviously don't cut it. Don't go through it. Oh. Sometimes stitching That's with really um easy. with no thread in your needle. Yeah. Can do that and go over that line. All right. And it just can help when you're turning it through because yeah. it's a curve. Yeah. It can help. When you're turning these through to try and help keep your curve so if i put that there and, and I have a score yeah, along that line it can just help fold it a little bit just don't go through your fabric that is that is a new tip to me i've got some really fine embossing tools from when i, I did card making or if you've got a bone folder oh yeah um or anything that's not sharp, you know, so you don't damage your fabric, but you can, it just might help it fold. And then you try folding back on those curves now. Oh, wow. And then they, they help them, and then try and give that a finger press yeah. down. That makes So that so when you turn it through, yeah. it does fold a little bit easier. It does definitely. And you get it, rather than it being flat, it yeah. helps get that curve. Yeah. Because when you're turning circles through, sometimes it's hard to get the curve when you're turning them through. So, so do it on the other side as well. Just scored, I'll just show you along that and the rest edge of your line. there. And on the other side as well. Use your template on the other side because yeah. you've not got a line and follow along the edge oh. of your template. And then you should be able to just look at that. That's in the curve. No, that's flat. That should push up so that it folds, follows that curve line. Oh. You know, you can. It might help you when you turn it through. Oh, going back to the uh, the the trees. Yes. Um. Oh, Lucy's put mine's golden red and it's already up. Yeah. <laughs> well, Halloween's passed now. Oh yes. First home. Christmas now. First home. We're having the yeah. tree up. Deb says traditional for us, and she says I don't have any Xmas decks. I don't do Christmas making these for daughters. Oh right, okay. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Karen, gold, white, and silver. Elaine, I don't have a theme for the tree. Uh, Josie says traditional with uh, lights only this year. Nice. Pauline says silver and maybe blue. Blue's, that's that's blue's like blue's silver and blue. Popular, mm. isn't it? Elaine says silver and lime green. Ooh, and red. That mm. sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, Janet says I wanted to put my tree up this week. It's red and all decorations are gold as soon as I feel better. Everyone's putting the tree yeah, up early. early. Aren't yeah, they? sometimes you just need something to yeah, cheer you just, up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it makes you feel better. 
Alexis, thank you for the tips. These so yeah. helpful. I'm always happy. I'm always happy to take all the Christmas decorations down. Yeah. But I'm always begrudged. Yeah. Taking the Christmas tree down. I mean, I'm not yeah. having the Christmas tree. You all yeah. know about that. I'm not having the Christmas tree, so like I've been begrudged that a bit. Yeah. But I always had. Mine was not a theme. If I had a theme, it'd be, it'd yeah. be green, red, and gold. Yeah. But I would always put up um, mismatch from all the things yeah. we've collected with the kids over oh, the yeah. years. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like I want traditional. Yeah. Maybe. Traditional. Traditional, yeah. yeah. yeah traditional colours. Um, Pauline's put, only put my tree up once Remembrance Day has passed. Yes. Yes. And that's this weekend. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, Georgie says, uh, great tip. Heather, you should release a book with all your no, tips. No, no, I have thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of tips. I have thought about that. Um, Jay says, uh, we buy baubles everywhere we go, so no yeah. colour theme. No, I just like to buy what I like. Yeah. When you see I something like you that. like, just get just it. Just get it, because yeah. you like it. Yeah, get it because you like it. Right. Right, are we all ready for Are we ready to move? Step? So we're going to turn that through. Turn that through. Right. We've got them easy grip pliers. Oh, Might make it easier. Yeah. So, hey, these are brilliant. Yeah, if, if you've struggled with your dexterity, yeah. this can help turning little things through. So push it right through so and grab that side. Through. Come this way a bit. Oh, so they can see. Move, move the machine a bit. That's off. And then you can lock them. Look how easy that is. Have Anything little and fiddly. Have I grabbed enough of it? That's the I, use it for turn, I use them for turning my bag windings now as well. Yeah. Instead of trying to get, because I'm suffering with arthritis in these two fingers, I keep hurts quite a lot. Yeah. Well, they're brilliant to have. To grab that little bit to pull through. There we go. Yeah, it's just starting it off, isn't it? It getting is, it getting through. in that first bit through. Yeah. Make sure we're pressing all around, getting all the circles. Yeah, make sure you roll all your edges out. If you've done a small stitch, that should come out relatively neat. There we go. So that's them. That's them pliers. Easy grip pliers. They just clip together. And, and hold it for you. They're brilliant. Must have a moustache. And there we go. I've turned it through. So we'll do our best now to get that into, yeah, a, into, into a curve. Into a curve. See, that's lying. Because we have got that bit of scoring in, it's lying. Like yeah. Press. And then do, do the one side. Get your yeah. iron in to get that flat, and then yeah. bring that one up to to line up with that one. Keep that one tucked in, and get one so it looks like a curve. Yeah. And okay. give it a press. Give that a press in there, and then do the same with the other one. Right. So I'll just sorry, hold that up. So yeah, we're doing the first side, the first opening, getting that into the curve. Yeah. Make that look as, as much of a curve Push as you can. Down. Press that one. And then do your second one. Line that to, up match, that to, one. Like, to match so that I'll just, one. I'll just mm. do that now. Oh, uh, Polly says, I've just used my tracing wheel to mark the opening. That's Work a good idea. Treat. If you've got one of those. Ooh, yeah, never score heard of that. I say another good tip is if you've got, you can, if you pull the thread out your needle. Yeah. And stitch that line without any thread in. Sometimes go forward and back a couple of times. Sometimes that can help as well. Stitch the stitch that line. I found that on bags when you're doing the straight edge as well. If you've, I found that out because I, I was on picking. Yeah. You know when you've stitched up your turning gap. Yeah. Because you forget yeah. like I do and stitch across it. Well, if you then, um, when I took the stitches out, it folded in so much easier uh, because I'd pre-stitched it because it that had been stitched already. Yeah. Wow. That's brilliant. Sorry, I'm still. I'm still... I think this is how most things happen. Get found out. Well, absolutely. I'm still, uh, I'm still pressing. Uh, trying to get it flat. You could do it here, you know. Use that mug rubber. That way you're not leaning like to the side. Do it here. Yeah, don't see why not. Do it, do it there. Yeah, you're in yeah. shot then. I'm in shot. You're in shot then. <laughs> do it on that side and you can, can see what you're doing. Yeah, we have got an ironing board to the side of yeah. us. Yeah, make sure I'm getting it as, as, as flat as you as can. Flat as, can, as curved as you can, yeah. rather. That's what I'm thinking. So you don't get a flat. Curved. So you don't get a flat side, and then give it a good press all over. I think that's all right. I think, I think that looks okay. Fold there, but it's all right. It's all right. Because it's going around a curve, it probably will. It might fold a little bit. Give it all. 
press. Good. I'll, don't steam ours, but if you're on an iron rod, you can give it a good blast to steam. Yes. You could probably do that over there. Oh, I'm so really there you happy go. with that. Yeah. Got that right. That's our lovely mug rub. Looking a bit stained <laughs> on that side. It's well used. It is. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So there we go. Done. Now, if you worry about your, your gap moving when yeah. we're going to when we're going to stitch it, just use your glue. If you've got a glue pen, stick a bit of glue yeah. in there. Let's use some of that. And it's seal it shut. Refill mine at home. I've used it that much. We've got refills back in stock. Oh, brilliant! I think they were sat on my table downstairs before. It's For your glue such sticks. a good. It is for things like that. Things and then if you put your iron on that, it dries it really quick, sets it really quick. That is a wash away glue. Don't forget that one. Not a permanent glue. Over there, and there we go. So now we're going to top stitch that. Really? You, if you wanted, if your top stitching was terrible, yeah. If you're worried about your top stitching at all, um, you could skip that, skip mm. that phase if you wanted to. Uh, but make sure you do an invisible stitch to close your gap up. If you're not going to top stitch oh, it, so can, do an invisible stitch. Yeah. Either use some permanent glue in there, you could yeah. just use Fabri-Tac yeah. glue, just that gel glue, and that will keep it shut permanently. Yeah. Um, or as it's a decoration, it's not gonna get any wear and tear like yeah. in the bag. Yeah. Or I'll do a blind stitch. Right, um, okay. An invisible stitch. But I'm going to top stitch this. Um, Elaine says use blind hemming foot to get perfect top stitches. Yes, that's a good idea. Brilliant. Right, if you haven't got that, make sure, and you're going to top stitch now, you've got both threads up at the machine. Right. This is how you don't get nesting on the back. Oh, that, yeah. Uh, yeah when so bring, right, bring your bottom nice. thread up as well uh, when you're doing this. Yeah. You want to extend, I mean, this goes against what I said before. <laughs> yeah. You're going to extend your stitch length a little bit. I'm going to do mine to three. I think three, and you will have to stop and turn yeah. more because you're doing a bigger stitch. Okay, so I'm doing about. Um, Deb says, "What size top stitch as a circle?" Th uh, three millimeter. I'm going to do three millimeter, so three, three and a half. Yeah. The bigger your stitch, the more you'll have to stop and turn okay. it and turn it, but you will go around. Just go slow. Right. Uh, okay. Bring both threads out, otherwise you'll get nesting on the back or the yeah. front, whichever side you're doing it on. I'll do it on this side because you'll be able to see it better. Um, I'm doing an eighth of an inch. Okay. So if I set this needle, I'm going to do it on here. Move that needle right over yeah. to the side. That's probably a quarter of an inch right. there okay. on this machine. That's probably, I know on my machine, if I move my needle all the way over to the right, yeah. then the side of my machine it's is a quarter of an inch. inch. So halfway between that's an eighth. Right, there is okay. an eighth mark on here, yeah. but I want to do it like I do it on my machine yeah. at home, so I know what I'm doing. So, you could do a quarter of an inch, but it might not close it up quite as well, yeah. if you've not glued the gap. Josie says, I use my quarter inch foot for top stitching. Yeah. Yeah. So, that would be a quarter of an inch there. I, yeah. might, you might, I might want to go closer to the edge of that, so I'll come in just a little bit more. Right. That's just to make sure that you gap. Yeah, it's stitched up properly. Closed, it's definitely yeah. closed. Because so, I have had that a few times where yeah. you missed it. <laughs> there is an eighth of an, a line here. Yeah. So there is an eighth on here, but not everybody's got the same markings. No. I've not got one on mine. Oh, yeah. At home. No, I've not got an eighth marking oh. on mine. Oh. Um, I oh, put a little on my foot here. Oh. Yeah. I put, um, so if I'm keeping my needle in the centre, I put a permanent mark. Mark. mark but I've measured yeah. an eighth of an inch in from a needle. And I put it on both sides, yeah. so I follow that little black mark on my foot. Oh, clever. Right. Okay. okay, so here we go. Again, you'll need to do a couple of back stitches. So, even though you've back stitched, yeah. and because you pulled your threads out, you won't yeah. get that. Hold your threads when you start. Yeah. If you hold your threads when you start, because your machine automatically pulls them down yeah. into your machine. Yeah. Uh, it pull, automatically pulls them down into your machine. So if they're too short and you're not holding them, yeah. that's when your nesting comes on the back. Right. And you're going to see this on from both sides of your yeah. decoration. So, sorry, can I, can I turn that way? Yeah. Can I turn that way? <laughs> so you, that's better. That's better. You might be able to see yeah. it better there as well. 
and then just take your time going round. You will, as your foot starts to move off the edge here, mm -hmm. the moment it starts to move off the edge like that is now, yeah. stop with your needle down, lift your foot and straighten it up. Yeah. Maybe three stitches, turn, one, two, three, turn, and do that all the way around. So I'm constantly lining this up to where my eighth of an inch would be. Yeah. How are we all doing? Are we all keeping up? So I've gone quiet now. While I'm concentrating. <laughs> you want to get it right. Yeah. Especially because it's contrast. Yeah. Now you see, you could change, you could put a different colour yeah. for the underneath. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. you won't see this. You I could do because I'm that, using yeah. navy because it's navy on that side. I'm using navy. Yeah. If you're relatively I'm confident in yeah. the straight lines, and so I'm happy to have a darker colour. Yeah. Uh, but you could change it for for the same for the same colour, yeah. and then you won't see it so much. Yeah. So this machine, this machine has quite a good turning curve on it. Good machine, that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everyone's gone quiet. Yeah, everybody goes quiet because they're concentrating. Focus on your eighth of an inch line. Yeah. Don't focus on your needle. Focus on the mark on your foot if you've got one. Your eighth of an inch line on your footbed if you've got yeah. one. You could also stick a bit of washi tape here at the yeah, front. Yeah, just to make sure you've yeah, you get an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Um, like, who said, put yeah, use your foot, particular foot, uh, line ten foot. foot um, I think it was Elaine. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah Elaine. Use blind hemming foot, yeah. Yeah, and then you can get... Uh, I don't think... You know a stitch blind. in the ditch foot? All right, as yeah. As well, because they, they have a little thing that you can push your fabric up oh, against, right. can't you? Yeah. They have like a thing... Was it a stitch in the ditch foot? I'm not big, big up on feet. No, I... There's another one. They've got, they've got like a little barrier that... So it stops you pushing your thing too far. Mine's maybe that's the blind... Barrier. Maybe that's maybe that's the blind... Mine's a... I think mine's a quarter foot. I've been using it as a quarter inch foot. Yeah. It's got a little barrier thing. Yeah. Mm. Also, see feet. I've seen them um, on that. Is it what did they say on the telly? The big long river <laughs> where you can buy anything. <laughs> feet like you put on and it's, uh, it sticks out at the side and it's got all different oh, measurements yeah. on. Oh, wow. Um, so you can do that as well if yeah. you've got one of those feet. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? They might have all, they have all the little markings, they're clear and they're usually on in red. I need to invest in some uh, different feet, I think. I like the way they call it that on the telly. The big, that big long river <laughs> where you buy, you can buy anything. Okay, I'm nearly there. Yeah. I'm quite close to the edge. It's looking good. You're a very neat top stitcher, Heather. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. Practice makes perfect. Absolutely. The more you do, the better you get. Yeah. Okay, when you get to the end, don't forget to back stitch. Oh, yeah, Joe says that's the quarter inch foot with the. With yeah, because my quarter yeah, inch foot I've doesn't have that. Mine doesn't have that. Oh, well, as soon as I got my machine and I saw it, I thought, oh, that, that's the best thing ever. I love my quarter inch foot. Yeah, mine doesn't have that. So you back stitched at the yeah. end there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there so we go. There we go. So we've backstitched at the start and at the end. And so you then, can't yeah, really see it on that side because it's navy. You haven't, we haven't got nested. No nested seams. That's brilliant, take that. Best is. one all day, that. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Andy says, I've got one of those feet, not tried it yet, was under a fiver. That's a bargain. Mm, yeah. yeah. I keep contemplating getting one of those. Yeah. So you haven't got to put anything on your footbed. If it if it works quite well, yeah, you've got all those little markings. So all yeah. these markings you see here are on just on the foot. There. Mm. That that's brilliant. Yeah. There's so many different feet you can get for your machines, and most feet will fit most. If it's a low shank yeah. machine, most will fit. Yeah. Most machines. Mm. Okay. How are you doing? Are we? How are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, make sure you comment or put yeah. a thumbs up or a love heart or something when you. When you're ready for the next stage. Yes, let us know. Put the sewing machine now, yeah. <laughs> Move that then. Is that it then for the sewing That's machine? That's it for the sewing machine oh, now. Oh wow, brilliant. Shall I cut so we'll put all the decorations out? in and then you can see, so snip your thread. Now you can tie those off. 
Um, no, it just snip them off. Snip you could tie them off. You could uh, put a bit of, um, if you, uh, what do you call it, fray check. If you're worried yeah. about them coming undone, if you forgot to backstitch, just stick a bit of fray check on or something. That can help. I've got three thumb, thumbs up. Thumbs up, we're all ready to go. Yeah. So you need to thread. Oh, here we go. You need to thread your <laughs> sewing needle next. Right, okay. Let's find one with a big eye. I'm going to go for that one. Right, so how are we threading it? Just like normal one? Uh, I'd do a double thread. Double? I'd do a double thread. So we're doing them? Yeah. Two strands together? Yeah. And then you've got a loop at the end, which will uh, help you start off. So we're doing two, two threads together. Well, however we'll you do, do but I like doing it like that. Because then you've got I a like loop and like you can that. go through your loop and yeah. it fastens it off. Through nicely, that did. The other day, it took me a while to thread it. There you go, you're a bit more in shot now. Oh, we've got lots of thumbs ups. Everybody's ready. So, thread your needle. Okay, so, right, you get ready with that. Now, decide now which one you want, how you want to see it. Yeah. Whether you want the darker um, on the outside or the lighter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stitch trying to think how to make sure that way no i can't remember that, that that's not computing we'll do one and then then you'll understand how oh, it goes yeah, yeah. sure how to do the loop thread yeah right yeah so here we go yeah so what i've done is we've got we've got one piece of thread and with the two ends folded in half we've just yeah put them in half put the two ends together Threaded them through the needle. And you've got a loop so at that end. Loop. So that when you start to sew, you can then, you can come through and put your needle through that through. and pull it off and it's... Yeah, you've got a knot. And it's fastened. You don't need a knot then. No, just makes it easy. So you've got your yeah. two ends, thread them through and you'll have your loop. Are, you, are, you still Are we ready? Way? Are we alright with that? Are we ready to go? So fold your circle in half. We'll just do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you so this will give you your top and your bottom right point. okay okay if you you don't need to you don't really need to mark it just give it um a press a crease yeah. put a bit of a crease in it and then you're going to start stitching here so fasten your thread here right so we're going through both no not sewing them together no, just going you're going through just going through yeah okay. go through where which that point is it doesn't matter which way, way no. really Let's go see. through where that is through there uh, and fasten your thread up don't pull it out of the needle. <laughs> so sure you're oh, sure doing that. My needle. Hang on. Rethread. Me and hand sewing needles. Don't go and together. Thread. We don't go together. We're not the best of friends. <laughs> if you've got a needle thread, you use that. That is what we should have wrapped up. Best thing ever in a dog's head. There we go. Hang on. Do you want to thread? No. <laughs> Quicker than me. We just don't get along, me and thread and needles. Quite a big eye on that one. There we go. Right. Keep that a bit longer. Yeah. Right, <coughs> so we've gone through. Have I pulled it all the way through? You might have pulled it. You might have pulled it. Pulled through, just do it again. Right. Yeah. Just go so through. So we're going through. Where you folded it. Where we folded it. Just through. Like that. And then you've got your loop, you've got your loop, take your needle through your loop and then pull. And then, pull. And then that's fastened. Don't pull your thread out the top. No. Okay. So make sure you just fold it again. So we'll be there. Once we're there, yeah. then you go across and do it at the other, the other point. Side. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going up. So where you folded it to the other side. Through there. Yep. Yeah. And then pull. All right, okay. Oh. Pull all the way. Yeah, right, so okay. it makes, right. Right. That so makes sure it's in the centre doing it like that. Yeah. All right, so they're going to sit like that. So how are you doing? Have you put your thread through one side, tied it, and then yeah. thread through the other side and pull? So we pull. It doesn't matter if you let it go now, no. because we need to put another, we need to fold it that way then. Okay. We're going to fold that way. No, the other way. That way. The opposite way you've just done. Yeah. So that you get your centre points there and there. Yeah. And then you're going to take it up through there. Through that one. Yeah. 
So we're going up through. Pull this in a little bit and pull that yeah, in. Pull that Otherwise, in. you're going to lose your thread. I think that's going to come out there. <laughs> through that one. This saves any measuring, and then you're going oh, to go right. back through that one, okay. through the other point where it's folded. Turn it round. So you've got this yep. weird shape at yep. the minute. <laughs> back through, through that one. And then pull that, and it should pull all them all into the centre. Right. Pull that in like okay. that. Yeah. Pull that. So they go like that. That's it. So it's oh, all then pulled, and then you need to stitch that off in the centre. So, so do we see the thread on top of the fabric? Um. Yeah. It's you're going to if Jen typically put a button over it. So don't worry yeah. if it's on top or underneath. So it's sort of. You could go them. under that one if you wanted to when you were stitching that, yeah. or over the top. I've done it both ways, but you're going to cover it. Yeah, so my I think my thread's gone over the like over the top. And then yeah. stitch all that together. Stitch all that together, all yeah. the layers. Yeah, just go through a couple, just go through. No, so, you can just go over the top too, because they'll be pulled in. You don't right. need to worry about going, sewing more, more on them. those two. Just the two top just ones. Just sew the two top ones, it should be, oh, I've just unthreaded your needle again. <laughs> I told you, mate, we're, we're not friends. <laughs> Where's oh, James put, I'm totally lost on that. Oh, Des put, I'm lost as right, well. Right, it's all right, undo right, it. we'll do, do it again. again. Right, so we've got our circle. So, you've, are we ready? You've got your circle. Fold it in half. This is just to find the centre points here without measuring. On the folded edge. On the folded edge. So, you could put a pin just to mark it or a, a pen mark, but what a pen mark that you can get rid of. Yeah. I'll do that so that might make it clearer. You can see a bit better. Okay, so you're just marking those points basically. I'm in a different place there than your thread is. Oh. I've already got the thread in it. Sorry, make sure it's in the right place for the thread. So fold your, your circle fold in Fold your half, circle in half. And then mark your folded edge Mark points. your folded edges. If that makes it easier, I'll just stick that pin there just to mark it. Okay. Yeah. So, so you've got those two points marked. Yeah. Can you see that? It's just folded in half. It's just the... So then you're going to fasten your thread off at one end. Yeah. Like we showed with the loop. Yep, yeah, so, so it's cut fastened it through, it off. one folded bit, and put your needle through yeah. the loop and pull it. You can just do a knot. Yeah. Um, if you do it that way, but it's it's a it's a need to finish without yeah. uh, without a knot when you've got a loop. So let me yeah. just re-thread that. So how are you doing? See. There we go. Okay. okay. So your net, your thread now should be sticking out this side on one side. On one yeah. side. Okay. Yeah, it's harder because you can't see the thread as much on no. on the camera. I'll do it the other way. Should we do it that way? Does that make it clearer with the that way around? Yeah, with the. Oh, Claire's put in a fat in a circle. Right, so you've got your circle. <laughs> circle. Fold it in half. Fold it in half. And just press it. these points. It's just to mark them. You could mark them with chalk or a disappearing pen or a pin. It's easier probably with a pen of some kind. Yeah. Okay, so you've just got your pin. It's just to mark these two points. Right, and just put a thumbs up. Okay. If you've got a pen to mark it. Uh, just do that, and then where this one is here, so put fasten your thread off on that one. Yeah. So sewing that point there, you're not sewing the layers together. You're just sewing through the edge, through that edge there. Yeah. So if you've put a pen mark, you could open it up. Open it up and stitch that and there. And just put your thread through that pen mark. Okay. So once you're fastened up, give us a thumbs up. Trying to oh, keep it clear. Yeah. We'll do it as many times as necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Till you get it, till you get it. Yeah. Okay. Right, all right. We've got some thumbs We're up. Right. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. okay. So make sure it's folded in half again. You've got your thing, you've got, so you'll be getting it in the right point. So if you've marked there, if you've not, just take your thread over. In the middle. Over, the, so it's in the middle. And just go through, you're going through the opposite side. So just again. as you did the first bit. So I'm just going from the inside to the outside. Just pull it out. Okay, and then that, once you've gone through, pull that up and it pulls your two, your two sides, sides in. in. Right? So it looks like a burrito. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or a taco. So give us a thumbs up when you're ready for the next bit. Just let me know. Okay, so pull that in. Now it might make it easier now if people are struggling, just stick a stitch in there. Yeah. Another oh, stitch. Yeah, put a thumbs up. Put oh, another Karen's put a thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Put another stitch in there. Yeah. Okay. That'll hold that together. So then yeah. Okay, the so put another stitch in that. Okay, so you're now there. Thumbs up when you've done. It's <laughs> great that thumbs yeah. up. Isn't it? So we've just done an extra stitch. It's basically it's sewn together in the middle. Yeah. You basically find it without measuring, you're yeah. finding the four points. Yeah. Okay, because everybody yeah. gets oh, lost yeah. in measuring yeah. circles, they all coming in there. Thumbs up, yeah. Okay. You're ready to go. Ready so to now go. we're here. So it's now folded that way. Yeah. So we're going to come down with our thread and go through that point. I'm just going to turn Fold. it so I can do it. Yeah. yeah. So back into that. That one there. I'm going from the inside out again. Okay. Oh, now I'm cool threading threading. the needle again. Okay. So you're going through that. I'll re-thread that while you're all doing that. Yeah. So you've gone through the fold a bit again. Yeah. Can't see. <laughs> Glasses have to come down to see through. That's the only downside of sewing like this. And your thread will be on the so, inside. Yep, yeah, so I've, I've sewn from the inside out, so it'll be sticking on the outside there. Okay? Yeah. So you're at one end. Are we all ready? Thumbs up yeah. when you've done that. <laughs> Can't keep track of thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got a thumbs up from Dad. Oh, Karen, yeah, Angie, yeah, okay. right, okay, brilliant. All right, so you're now going to go across to the opposite side again, like you did before. So you're going over. So you can go down. under or over. Yeah. Try going under, you might find it easier to go under. Yeah. Go under that centre stitch. That might make it easier for you, because it'll hold it down a bit. So that pulls, you can see that's pulling in this side. Yeah. Can you say that? That's pulling in and then into the opposite side like you did before. Yeah. Can you say that? Into there. Don't, don't come up ready. Oh no! <laughs> just not looking at us. Yeah, it just, just wants me to practice threading a needle yeah. today. Okay. So in through that side. Again, I'll go through the inside to the outside. Yeah. And then pull. And that will then. Bring it all in. Bring it all in to oh, the centre. Oh, we've got a thumbs up from Dad. That's good. Brilliant. Brings it all in to the centre. I'll have to put that down to do that. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. So it looks like you've got like a little... So it makes a little... Flower. Yeah. Almost. And then you want to add... So once you've pulled it once in... Once you've pulled all that in... You want to add some, of course, a few stitches here mm -hmm. to hold all that together. You don't have to go through all them layers. No, just uh, just them last yeah. two that you've just done. They'll be the ones because you've already caught that first one. Yeah. So if you just go through them couple of layers there. Getting thumbs up. Some people are still with us. Otherwise, you might find it too hard yeah, to, to, to sew through. through. Don't, don't lose your thread. Okay, so I've just done a couple of stitches. Now, when I've got my loop like that, as I'm pulling it through, if I'm going to finish off, I then go through my loop. Yeah. Can you see that? Go through your loop there and pull it in. Oh, Elaine says I'm lost with the second part of sewing. So, your first part was you folded yeah. it in half. Let's see if I can undo that and do it again. And you, yeah. You've pulled your two sides in and you've sewn it. Maybe just do that again. Yeah, you've done well to undo that. Back at that point. Again. <laughs> Getting tapped at that end then. 
Uh, so Elaine says, I've sewn the first part. Right. right. She's done the first part. So we're back on this bit. Yeah. Test me how many times you can <laughs> thread, thread a needle. needle. Thread a needle. Well, you've, you've done it. Right, so we're back to where we were at the beginning. So, so you've got this looks like a like a tackle. <laughs> okay, so that's pushed flat. So you've got your you've got your thread here. Oh, don't apologise, Elaine. Don't apologise. We'll do it as many times yeah, as is absolutely. required until you get it. Until yeah. you can get it. Okay. So that's the, the thing with a live one. Yeah, you can ask. Definitely. Okay, so that's so it looks like you've got a half circle. Your thread's in the middle. Yeah. So come down to this point because it will be folded in half the opposite way now. Yeah. So go down, go through this side, through the inside, to the outside. And that's you've, you've sewn through there. So you've sewn through that side. The other side. From the inside to the outside on yeah. the other side. Yep. Yeah. And then pull on that. And it just pulls it in. Yeah. Yeah. That just pulls that in. And I'm just going to turn it so I can see what I'm doing better. I'm just going to turn it round and then take your needle, go under the stitches in the middle. So you've got your. You've just pulled that in you've got your stitches in the middle just go underneath those i think that makes it easier yeah and then through the point where it's folded on the other side from the inside to the outside and then that i'm um, just pull on everything pull on the thread yeah and it pulls it all together i pointed it towards the center screen <laughs> pointed it it will all pull in so you've got a folded flat piece like that are we okay with that? How are you doing, Elaine? I don't want to fasten it off and, until everybody's Let come. Let us know. If you need us to go through it again, yeah. we can do. I'm like on rewind. <laughs> yeah. If you can see it. It's harder to see because of it the angle that we're at. It is harder to see, yeah. So, oh, she's got, yeah, you got it. Are we there? Yeah, are we brilliant. all there? Yeah. Okay, so once we're here, so now that side, go over to the, go over to this opposite side here. How close can I get to the camera? <laughs> That's Can you see that better? Yeah. I'm just stood up. Stand up. Let me stand up. I've oh, Anne says I've widened out the screen and can see everything better. Right, is that better? Right, now we're there. So this is what you'll have. All right, so if that's not pulled in, just pull that in. So this is where we are now. Can you see that? Yeah. So these two are already fastened together. So just take your thread um, and we're just going to sew through that layer there. You're already through this one, so through that one there. Oh, Elaine's put a thumbs up. Okay. Don't try and sew through all the layers, because you'll find that quite difficult. So I'm just going to go over the top of that one. Don't forget, if your sewing's not so neat, don't worry about it, because you're going to cover it up. Yeah. Okay, so once you're happy... And you want to fasten off your thread. I've got a loop there because I haven't pulled all that the way through. Put your needle through that loop. Can you see that on the yeah, screen? Yeah. yeah. Pull that needle through that loop and then just fasten that off. And I do that a couple of times. Yeah, to make sure it's secure. To make sure that's secure. I'll just go back through again. So back through that loop. And I'm hoping that'll be secure enough now to just cut that off. Do you want to cut that, Chloe? Yeah. Okay. So then when you open it out, so you've got these four points now. Mm -hmm. Are we all there? We'll wait till everybody's put there. A, put a thumbs up. Put a thumbs up when you're there. Oh, uh, Rachel says dream little nails. Yeah. Yeah. Never threaded a needle this way before. Game changer for me. Yeah, it, it is. Because you, you don't have that. No, if it's gonna, if it's going to be somewhere you can see. Yeah. You don't have the knot. No, brilliant. Oh, we're getting lots of thumbs up. So we're all yeah, ready we're to all move ready. on. Okay. Yeah. So we've now got this shape. Oh, Elisa's love your socks, Heather. <laughs> oh yeah. You can, sorry, you can see me socks in the shop because I'm stood up. <laughs> right. So going to flatten this out now i'm just going to push down having the interfacing in makes this easier mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to flatten it down so it'll go into a square right okay you might need to manipulate it a bit to get it even yeah so if you just push down you're going to put that back up come up a little bit that's it right are we there <laughs> there we are yeah okay so i've just got a finger on the bottom and a finger on the top just push down 
and it flattens it out and you're sort of making a bit of a square. Can you see it makes it into a square? Because everybody wonders, how did you get a square, a circle? Yeah, a square from a circle. circle yeah. All right, so try and even even it up. Oh, my stitching's coming undone. I haven't oh, fastened no. it off enough. <laughs> right, okay, so you've got this. Yeah. I'm just going to have to thre thread that. My stitching's coming undone. I've not fastened it enough up enough times. Just excuse me a minute. We all pushed it down to make the square. Yeah, manipulate it around, make yeah. it look like a square. Yeah. While I fix Give my... Give us a thumbs up when you've done that. My so broken stitching. Let me just move out so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, George says um, about the uh, threading up the needle. Mm. Uh, this way of threading the needle is great for 3D hand embroidery. Oh, right, yeah. Wow. Just make sure you fasten yeah. it off more times than I did. Oh, again, yeah, everyone's getting up to that right, point. So, you could leave, if you're going to sew your button on, you could leave that there, that thread hanging there. Yeah. But I like to use, I like to start with a new bit because yeah. it's fiddly otherwise. Okay, yeah. so we, we're now pressed yeah, down. we're all ready. So we're all ready. You can always manipulate it a bit later to get it more even. So what you're going to do next is we're going to fold back these corners Okay. okay, so you just take that and fold it. Just fold it back like oh, that. Wow. Okay, move on to the next one, and just tuck it under like that. Fold That's it back. Really clever. Same on this one. Tuck under, and just fold it back till you've got all four done. Wow. And then you can just play around with it that. till you get it how you're happy with it. Yeah. Mine looks a bit bigger here than it does here. But I, if I had if, normally sat there, I'd spend yeah. a bit of time just, uh, messing around with that yeah. till I get it exactly how I want it. Wow. And then all you need to do then, I'm not going to do this live on air because you don't need to watch me sew a button on, is uh, <laughs> sew a button on. Jane says, I've reinvented the shape of a square. Yeah. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> So you would sew a button on, or if you've got a glue gun, yeah. if you have a glue gun, save yeah. yourself a bit of sewing yeah. and glue gun that on. Wow. Yeah, stick a bit of hot glue and glue that yeah. on. You could probably use your fabric tack, you'd just have to yeah. hold it hold for a it, bit. Sure but if you want to save yourself sewing, if you've got a glue gun, glue it on. That is brilliant. And then all you need to do then, after you've done that, is put in um, a thread. So to do to sew your thread in, I'm not. I suppose I can do this here. If I would, I would make my loop again or tie a knot in this because it doesn't matter if you tie a knot in this, uh, and then go up under one of these fold overs. Yeah. So under there. So we'll try and get in shot. Are we there? Hang on. <laughs> Ooh, this way. This way. <laughs> there you go. There. Yeah, so there. you would go up under this loop so you would go under there yeah oh janet says looks great heather and out through the top so if you've tied a knot you could go up and down a couple of times your knot will be hidden under here under this loop yeah. this flap you could go and then go back down make a loop and stitch it off underneath there yeah and you will have your hanging loop you could wow. do that and then if you're going to do have them all hanging together like this yeah. You can obviously do that and go exactly go under there and through this one to make it join them all up. And on this one, as you can see, we tied tied a bit of ribbon. If you had a bead, you could yeah, put a bead, a bead on it. between them. Yeah. You could put, probably go through a bell, put a bell there. Yeah. What if you want hang something heavy off the bottom? Nice if they're made large because they hang them in your window and when your window's yeah. open, they blow, they, they rotate. Oh, that's nice, yeah. So if you're sewing a button on, you could always go through another button on the back as well. Yeah. And sew it on the back. But if your thread's coordinating, so say with this one, I might sew it on with um, a burgundy thread. Yeah. Because when it comes out the back, if you didn't want to put another button, you could just do a couple of little tiny, sti tiny stitches on yeah. the back so you can't see it. So there you I go. I absolutely love that. Have we all completed that? Yeah. Have we all managed? Let us know if you've finished it. Oh, that's brilliant. So, there we go. Just sit that there so you yeah. can at least get an idea. These are the nice little, what are them buttons? 
So these buttons, if you want to know, these are the um, two hole diamante ones. Um, and that's what they look like. So these are your glitter stars. We've got a, a few diamante ones. We've got quite a few diamante buttons, yeah. Stars. They look really nice in the middle. And says instructions, very well explained and easy to follow. Oh, Thank brilliant. You. If everybody's got a finished one, like I say. Yeah, post if, it. Yeah, when you've got your button yeah. on, or whatever you're going to put in the centre, post it on our socials. Because we're doing our Facebook Live at 12, yeah. so we can show them off. So we'll see, see the first one. First, yeah. <laughs> so we want to see what they all look like. If yes, you've all completed we them, we Please, want to see them. Yeah, send pictures. Even if you think it's not great, yeah. post it anyway. Yeah, we'll post love it seeing anyway. it. Yeah. yeah. Send pictures and um, yeah, we can Because it show. then inspires people to have a go. Yes. If they've not done it live with us now. Yeah. Plus, if yours doesn't look so great and you think it doesn't look so great, if somebody else who's doing it later, theirs yeah. doesn't look so great, it makes them feel better. Definitely. Yeah. The more you make, the, uh, the better you get. Yeah. Just practice. Jill and says, uh, sorry, go on. No, go this on. one as well. If you struggle with it being stiffer with the interfacing, yeah. try it without the interfacing. These yeah. haven't got interfacing in. Um, I found it, I found it's, it holds a bit. It holds a bit stiffer, nicer. Yeah. But it equally looks brilliant. Yeah, it makes it easier sewing it when it's interfaced. Um. Yeah, Joe says thank you, ladies. Very easy and pretty make. Oh. Congratulations! Congratulations to yeah. to you to to you for finishing it. Oh, Pauline's put mine's a bit wonky, but I will post. I think the larger one will be easier, maybe. It will. The bigger you go, it is easier when you go bigger. Yeah. Like I say, you can make them much bigger. If you need to make a bigger template, yeah. Get some old wrapping paper, some brown paper. How many boxes do you get from down yeah. the river? <laughs> <laughs> from down the river, and they've all got that scrunched up yeah. brown paper in them. Yeah, you can oh, use that. Yeah, that's it's sturdy a paper. Idea. That yeah. use that for making templates. Oh. Use it for making patterns as well. And she said, just post it. It's not perfect, but happy with it. Oh, also, you might be the first. It, yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, she said she's definitely going to be making more. Definitely yeah. brilliant. That is. That's really yeah. nice. Top definitely post it by the way, Pauline. We want to see yeah, it. Yeah. If you can, if you do your top stitch in a contrast colour, if you're confident, yeah, it looks quite nice when you do it yeah. in, a, in a contrast colour as well. Oh, you could also do that hand stitch and would look good if you hand stitched it. Yeah. You know, like um, where you leave a gap in between oh, your stitches. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like in, is it Sashit? So, that Japanese sewing yeah. thing, I can't say it. Uh, so yeah. you've got hand stitched. Yeah. It would look quite nice with That'd two strands. Nice. would look nice. Yeah. And it wouldn't take that long. No. Oh, Dad, for excellent. Woohoo, finished. Thank you. <laughs> so, congratulations to you. Yeah. And don't forget to join us on the Material Girls. Yes, on Facebook at 12 o'clock. We yeah. want to see you we there. We want to see you, definitely. definitely. We want to see your decorations. And then yes. you can brag about it. Yes. To anybody that's not watched. <laughs> definitely. So, oh, Claire's book, bit squiffy. Thanks uh, for your help. It's all right, that one's a bit squiffy. Yeah. It needs a bit of manipulating. You could go in once you've got it how you want it, give it a press. Yeah. To press those creases. Brilliant. Okay. okay. So I think we're finished, aren't we? So till, until 12 o'clock. Yes. We'll see you on we'll Facebook. We'll see you then. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll just have to stand up. Um. <laughs> still here. I'm still here. <laughs>